Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariongi and we continue with our topic of discussion in Biology Form 3, Classification 2. So today we are going to discuss class uh, Reptilia as the third class within the phylum Codata. Previously, we have discussed uh, class pieces where we have the fish and class amphibia where we have the amphibians. So today we are going to discuss class uh, Reptilia. So class Reptilia, uh, we have the common reptiles that we know. We have the tortoises, we have the turtles, of which you distinguish the tortoises and the turtles by the fact that uh, tortoises are found on land uh, while turtles are aquatic. We also have other members such as the snakes, uh, the crocodiles, the lizards, and so on and so forth. So all those form the, the class Reptilia. So we're saying that examples include tortoises and turtles. And they're saying that tortoises are mainly found on land. while turtles are aquatic. Other examples. Include, we have crocodiles, snakes, chameleons, etc. So just to compare the class Reptilia with the class Amphibia, we can say that uh, uh, class Reptilia uh, is more adapted to terrestrial life than the amphibians. That means that they can spend uh, most of their time on land uh, than, in, uh, than in water. So they are more adapted to terrestrial habitats than amphibians. So we look at their characteristics. And of course one is that uh, their bodies are covered by a dry, scaly skin, dry, scaly skin to minimize water loss, to minimize water loss, which minimize water loss which could lead to desiccation. Desiccation simply means excessive water loss. So the dry scale skin ensures that uh, there is minimal uh, water loss. Most have four limbs
while snakes have no limbs. They have a three chambered heart. With one with two atria. And one partially divided ventricle. One partially divided ventricle. So they have three chambered. But in crocodiles, in crocodiles, we have a four chambered heart. That is two atria and two ventricles. So crocodiles. Uh, we have two chambered, uh, four chambered heart. That is two atria and two ventricles. They have a closed. circulatory system. These are other characteristics that are common to so many classes. Are ectothermic or poikilothermic. And basically that. So you're saying that uh, they ha their bodies are covered by a dry scaly skin to minimize water loss, which could lead to desiccation. Desiccation is excessive water loss. Most have four limbs, while snakes have no limbs. They have a three-chambered heart with two atria and one partially divided ventricle. Uh, but in crocodiles, they have a four-chambered heart. They are slightly more advanced because they have two atria and two ventricles. They have a closed circulatory system. They are ectothermic and gaseous exchange is through the lungs. They have lungs for gaseous exchange. So we'll have an assignment on class reptilia. But before you look at the assignment, there's one more characteristic that uh, they have internal internal fertilization internal fertilization remember the class amphibia we saw that they have external fertilization the assignment the first question State two distinguishing features of class reptilia. Two distinguishing features. That means features that are not found in any other class. Uh, number two, state two structural differences between class amphibia and class reptilia. So we are going to stop there 
Until next time, uh, goodbye. Thank <music> you.